I'm here at Summit Trailers in Portland. Let's go watch some trailers get made. All right, we're out here at Summit Trailers, and this place is amazing. They build things from little tiny landscape trailers to really big tiny home trailers. Brad, thanks for having us out today. That's really good, man. Thank you. Thank this you. This is fun. Yeah. Man, where are we starting out here? I want to see how you guys build trailers today. Okay, well, we're starting out with the saw area. This is where we cut the steel, mm -hmm. and uh, we'll either cut, bring it all in long lengths like he's doing right now, or uh, we'll maybe bring some of it in pre-cut. Um, and from there, it's going to be kitted up, and it's going to move down to the other main fab building, and that's where we're going to put them all together. All right, well, let's go take a look and see how they put this stuff together. Sounds great. All right, Brad, so we changed buildings here. What do we got going on over here? So over here is our line for the utility built, uh, trailers. Um, these are our smaller things like uh, people use around their house, maybe, yeah. or landscaping companies. Yeah. So, um, uh, so this team here, what they're doing, they're going to build this on the jig, uh, okay. the frame first. And then they're going to install the side panels, the rear gate, fenders, suspension, all of that. And then you're going to have a utility trailer. Nice. So everything is based off that jig, so that makes it so they know exactly yeah. where things have to the go. The jig is really important for us. Uh, we don't we we don't do a lot of hand building. Yeah. Um, so it's great for consistency, right? Absolutely. So you know everything See, going out to everything exactly. square. Everything's the same way. Um, yeah, we don't have to worry about that. All right, well, we've got some significantly bigger trailers right yeah, here. This line does the bigger stuff. Uh, these are our uh, flat beds and tilt beds and deck over. And what they're doing is, uh, um, this is the second stage they're doing here. Yep. And uh, they're going to be bringing uh, the front part of this uh, trailer over. This is called a stationary tilt for the okay. first four feet to solid. Nice. And the back part tilt. So they're bringing this over. They're going to... Uh, they've already you know, made it up uh, in our sub-assembly area, and they're going to put it on the trailer here, get it all lined up, and, and weld it on. So this station is the second station. So they're going to, you can see they've already got the suspension in there. Yep. Um, they've got the, uh, uh, they're putting this front deck on. Uh, they're going to put the coupler on. Uh, in the back, there's a rear approach that they're going to put on. Yep. Um, and then get the fenders on it, do all that. And, and get it all done. Really good to go. Yeah, that comes along pretty quickly. It does. Yeah, um, they can produce uh, eight to nine trailers a day on this line. Wow, that's impressive. That's yeah. a lot of steel. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's a lot of steel. <laughs> all right, I see we got some dump trailers over here. We do. This is our dump line. Um, so what they're doing again, we have uh, some jigs and it's, it's a line. So over here um, is the box. So they've got a jig that they built this thing on, um, and then another station has built the panels ahead of time and the rear pieces. Um, so they're putting that on. Um, once that's all done, it'll move to the next next station. That is impressive how heavy duty those things are, and so much steel steel in that. Yeah, they're very heavy duty, um, and you know you'll see at the end they you know our, our trailers look great. No one can compared to our trailers. <laughs> I um, love it. Um, and also, these are all designed uh, solid models. So every trailer you see in here has been a solid model design from the ground up. Nice. So um, all, everything always fits together just perfect. We don't really allow any grinding on the trailers, any of them. Nice. If it doesn't fit, if there's something wrong, you know, Go back and fix yeah, it. exactly. You know, don't, don't try to hide it. Nice. Um, so. You know, I really like here how we've got teams. Everybody seems to be partnered up. They are. Every line is its own team. So um, they work together. They're, they all have their bot, just like an athletic team. Yeah. Um, but um, most of the stuff you see around here, the, the layout, the organization, that's all them. They come up with that. We don't tell them where stuff goes. Nice. You know, we teach them about lean manufacturing, about how to eliminate waste and that kind of stuff. They all decide it. So everything you see here, they decided where it goes. They, you know, Daily are coming up to me or others saying, hey, we made this little change here, we made that little change there. Oh, that's it's, awesome. It's just fantastic. It's a, it's a good work environment. At least I, I hope it is, right? Yeah, it yeah. seems like it. Everybody's happy and, you know, they're just efficient. I love that efficiency of just, they're just unspoken getting the work done. Yep, yep. And, uh, yeah, they do great with that. And, and they're really proud of everything that they're doing here. They, they know that they're making a great trailer, yeah. um, probably the best. And they're really proud of everyone that goes out here. And they see those loads going out or they see anything. They, they really like it. Ah, I love it. That is awesome. That pride and workmanship yep. doesn't ever get old. No, never. 
All right, I see we got another trailer piece coming in. We do. We bring everything over in kits that goes to our sub-assembly area. Um, she has uh, completed everything on this one. Uh, this is the frame. This is uh, um, there's no cross members or anything in there, but all the cutouts, everything have already been done, ready to go. So when these guys go move this trailer, they go right onto the next trailer and off they go. And nice. then she's going to start on the next one. Wow, that is cool. That's just all part of that process of keeping the assembly line moving right along. Yep. And uh, just like an example of that cart right there, that's their design. We say we need to come up with a cart. Probably the third or fourth try. Yeah. But, um, you can see it looks a little bit like a trailer. Amazing. <laughs> yeah. How about that? <laughs> Brad, I see a not so tiny, tiny home. Yeah, this is a, a tiny home in here. Obviously, it doesn't fit in our dry booth. Um, they're not so tiny anymore. Mm -hmm. um, but this booth is something that uh, uh, we help design. Um, it, after they're washed, they got to get dried, right? Yeah. And so uh, this is a, a booth that uh, we had built um, and circulates hot air and dries them very quickly. Still a little bit of hand drying that has to happen, but overall does it in 15 or 20 to 25 minutes. Nice. And it's all dried and into the paint booth and uh, get, put, get that fine finish put on it. I see a lot of made in USA stamps uh, on that yeah, steel. I like absolutely. it, man. Absolutely. Yeah, I we like buy it. all of our steel locally um, and uh, from a company up in Tacoma. Mm -hmm. So uh, yeah, and they do a great job for us. All right, Brad, this is one heck of a paint booth. It is. It's uh, 60 feet long. It's going to hold two trailers. Yeah. Um, we also have two hoists in here so that we can lift up the trailers. Um, so we can get a good jo paint job underneath as well. Yeah. Uh, we use a, a high quality primer and then uh, a top coat uh, polyurethane. Cool. Um, and we have two colors basically that we use, black black, and, uh, um, and uh, a, a charcoal, uh, yeah, metallic okay. charcoal. Yeah. Um, so they'll, uh, they'll do both team. Again, they're a team. Uh, they have two people on each trailer. Nice. And uh, yeah, they'll lift them up and start shooting the paint. And, so you uh, guys are actually finishing the bottom of the trailer as well. We do, absolutely, absolutely. Brad, I gotta ask you, what got you into building trailers, man? I've been in manufacturing my whole life. It was all aerospace, 25 years with the same company, uh, a couple different plants. Um, left there and started looking for businesses to buy, manufacturing businesses. Yeah. Um, came up here to Portland, my wife's from here, and uh, Tried to buy a, a trailer company, it didn't go, and so I went out and did some other stuff. Kept thinking, you know, trailers, um, you know, there's a lot that I can bring to the table, you know, and, and through the design, through the 3D stuff, <laughs> and the clothes yeah. and the flying. We all were. So yeah, I mean, kind of cool. circled back yeah. around yeah, and said, yeah. instead of buying one, we're just going to start our own. And so here we are, and it's been seven and a half years, and we're having a blast. Wow, you're cranking out a lot of trailers for a brand new company. I love it. Yeah, we do. We can, uh, I think, we, we do about 70 trailers a week. Wow. Another three years or so, you'll be an overnight success. There you go, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. All right, this seems to be where the magic happens, right? Yeah, this is uh, our wiring station where the wiring harnesses get put in, all the decals get put on, uh, everything gets tested out. Um, and uh, yeah, from there, it's going to go over and get decked. This is a dump, so it won't get decked. It's gonna go straight out, get yep. loaded on that semi. Nice, so this is where you put all the lift, the controllers, all those different things in yep. that? Yep, all that's been put in. Uh, the pump was actually installed on the line so we can raise and lower it. Sure. But all the other final stuff, the battery chargers, the, the, um, the, the brakes, um, the, uh, everything else electrically is, is happening here. Nice, this is great. It's a beautiful trailer when it's all said and done. So here now they're testing all the lights, testing the breakaway batteries and the breakaway brake yep. system, and then they'll be ready to go. All right, I love the smell of lumber, right? Yeah, absolutely. It's kind of weird in a steel facility, <laughs> but right? um, this is the last operation before they go out and get shipped. Um, so what he's doing here is he's, uh, he's already laid the deck down, um, and he's using this uh, special drill that uh, drills into the cross members, the, the wood, and then secures the deck to the to the um, trailer, yep. and then it's it's ready to go. And you got a beautiful car trailer heading out to somebody. Absolutely, yep. It's funny. I love the wood on a car trailer deck. Yeah, it just works so well. There's grip, but it can handle the load. It right? can. They're, it's very strong. We use uh, uh, Douglas fir, which is the strongest there is. Yep. Um, we don't pre-treat or anything. Um, the uh, the decks hold up for a really long time. 
Absolutely. And people will ask about, oh, should you put some stain or, or uh, other deck material? Like, well, one, that's going to make it really slick. Exactly. Right. And so that's not exactly the safest thing to do. No, um, especially if it's wet or something like that. Yeah, exactly. That's the last thing you need but to slip This is a high-grade uh, Douglas fir that we use, and uh, it lasts a really long time. Absolutely. And that's how trailers are made. Brad, thanks for having us down here today, man. This has been great. Great and great having you here. Thanks. And uh, if you want to learn more about our trailers, uh, summittrailermfg.com or go see one of our dealers. They've got them fully stocked and ready to go. Right here, made in the Northwest, ready for you for your next trailer.